Hello everyone, welcome to What's Poppin'. Yes, my latest vlog. What's Poppin', where we will feature all the latest trends. Ano bang uso ngayon? Ano nangyayari? Anong bago? Pagkain, place, lugar, singer, my life. Nadito po sa What's Poppin'. And today, I am here at Poblacion. Isa po ito sa mga trendy places ngayon dito sa Makati. And I am gonna feature isa sa mga pinakabagong restaurants now dito sa Poblacion. It's called Tipon. So, saan tayo magtitipon-tipon? Dito lang sa Tipon. Join me! Come on! Chicken adobo, yum. Paella, yum. We made the place feel home. It's my pleasure it's, here to try. Yung environment ko, it was all about, you know, let's do this. Try yung passion namin to cook. You attract who you are. Sometimes, the ones that don't really win are the ones that are given opportunity to shine. Excited po ako dahil she is definitely trending. I noticed po lahat ng songs niya super hugot. And I know she's done a lot of theme songs for uh, a lot of movies too. Here for the very first time on What's Poppin', Janine Penyoso. Yay! Hi, Janine. So now we get to play a game with Janine. It is called Pop That Song. You're gonna get to pop one of these balloons. Ngayon, pag anakalagay related to relationship or your status, you have to sing for us one of your songs that you think is bagay for that. Ngayon, pag naka, naka pop ka ng question, you have to answer that question. Ayan. So here it goes. Pop the first balloon. Pop that song. Ayan. Sa so, tingin mo, ano ang red flag? sa music industry natin na dapat ma-improve? It's a question. <laughs> Mahirap ba yun? Not really baguhin, but I guess become aware lang. Like, as a society or as a collective or as a supporter of the OPM community, huwag natin i-base yung value ng isang artist based on their numbers, based on their followers. Very true. Oh. Are you pressured? For sure. Huwag tayo masyadong uh, into the number of views. Yeah, diba? Tama naman siya. Very good answer. Pop the next balloon. Pop that song. Ayan. Nakapag-date ka na ba ng co-artist mo? Ah! Ah! Ayan, ayan, ayan. Oh my God! Ah! So, honest. Uh, for sure, for sure. For sure. Para po doon sa may alam, comment na lang po kayo. Who do you think ang na-date ni Janine. Ayan. Pop the next balloon. Pop that song. <laughs> Tinatago. Ay. Parang yun yung co-artist ka-date. <laughs> Tinatago. Ayan. So, I have this song. It's called Hulaan. And yun, parang sikretong relationship siya. Pero gusto ni girl yung guy talaga. Pero si guy, he only wants the girl when he's alone or when he's lonely. So, okay, what's that song? Uh, this is called Hulaat. But lang lumalalim kada hakpang palapit sa jabang walang malinaw na sagot parang palaisipan Hulaan lang kalaban-laban di ka mailagan gusto Hula, hula, and. Yay! Hey! Oh, 
Wala. Ay. Oo nga. So, obviously, sana you didn't end up with him. No, no, no. Very, very good. Ayan. So, next, balloon. Pop that song. Ayan. Complete the sentence. I don't know why people are so judgy. Oh. Why nga ba? Ayan. Ganun talagang life. <laughs> Do what you want, guys. <laughs> Kailangan lang matatag. Yes. Diba? Last. Ayan. Thing my ex did and I stayed. Mm, parang shinare niya yung private life ko sa friends niya. Oh. Kasi nang hingi siya ng advice. Eh, syempre sa amin sa amin lang yun. Uh oh So it was a secret yeah. and he shared yeah. it. But you stayed. I stayed. Pinagbigyan mo. Mm. Hanggang ngayon ba kayo pa rin? No. Okay, gusto ko lang malaman. <laughs> Nagising siya sa katotohanan. Ayun 'yon. So that's it. Thank you for being so game. Thank you Janine. I love your songs. Kaya pala ikaw ay uh, tinatawag na hugotera dahil ang gaganda ng kanta niya, no? Ang ganda ng voice ni Janine. Ayun, thank you. Hi Sam. Hello. Hi Chef April. Hello. So Tipon is one of the newest places here in Poblacion. Yes. How will Tipon's food be different from the other dishes that they serve here? Katakot-takot na ngayon kasi ang mga restaurants dito sa Poblacion. So, how is your restaurant different from the others? So, ito yung hindi masyadong common dito, which is Spanish fusion. Pero it's more, it's leaning towards Mediterranean food. We play around and then the flavors, we try to incorporate um, with the Filipino palate. Hindi lang po uh, specialty foods nila ang pupuntahan nyo. Meron rin kayong bar sa ilalim, right? Yes, we also have a bar. Although it's not open yet, it's mm -hmm. called Catch 22. And you're gonna see uh, kung ano yung itsura ng tipon. I super love it. Yeah. Para siyang modernized, old Filipino house. Yes, no? that's what we were actually going for as well. What are your dishes? Para siyempre, yung mga nanonood, magutom sila habang binabanggit nyo. Kung ano yung mga specialties nyo dito sa team? So, since we just opened ng May, so konti pa lang. But um, here is um, ensalada de melon. So, it's served with prosciutto. So, so yeah. <laughs> Yes, and melon. For our tapas here, this is Sam's favorite. Yeah, um, personal favorite. So, it's a garlic confit uh, baby squid. I love baby squid. Yeah, yeah it's so very yummy. So you might love this as well. Mm -hmm. And I love garlic, so great. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then here is frito misto. It's a combination of seafood with sardines. With so a dip, no? Anong yes. dip to? So this is the garlic aioli. Here is one of the fusion. So it's an empanada, but it has a beef caldereta filling. It's also one of our best sellers. One as of well. our best sellers. And for our mains, um, we have here um, a four hour um, roasted pork belly. Mm -hmm. So it was marinated and braised for four hours. Shucks, gutom na ako. Kaya explain pa lang niya. Okay. So here we have um, another Sam's favorite, <laughs> chicken skewer. So, Sam, parang puro favorite mo. I know. Korean. <laughs> so it's a lamb sausage. Then do it yourself po siya na um, parang soft ako. Yeah. So you get a little bit of the salad and then get the chicken and some sausage with the red mojo sauce. And you just, oh, that's why we yeah, serve it yeah. with pita bread. And this one, another fusion, it's ado chicken adobo paella. Wow! Chicken adobo, yum! Paella, yum! Ayan. Yes. So that's the, <laughs> that's the idea. So, nagutom ba po kayo? Ako kasi gutom na gutom niya. Dinidescribe pa lang niya at naamoy-amoy ko. Sobrang nakakagutom. Mm. We are ready to enjoy your dishes. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much, Chef April, and of course, Sam. Don't forget Tipon here at Poblacion. And of course, watch out for their Catch-22 bar downstairs. We are on the second floor here in Poblacion, Tipon. Singer-songwriter Pussy Janine. So give us a little bit of background. I know that at a very young age, five years old, right? Yes, yes, yes. I started to sing the book. How did you know that you wanted to sing at five years old? Um, actually, yung sister ko po, siya yung unang nakita kong kumakanta on stage, siya yung nag-join ng TV competitions. So I was like, gusto ko din kumanta like my sister. So in-enroll ako ng mom ko sa voice lessons. And then, dun siya nag- parang nag-improve ako and then 
um, I went to church, tapos naging worship leader ako doon. Tapos doon ako natutong magsulat sa church. Sa church. Kasi At what age did you sing um, for the church? Around six. Eight. Wow. Ganun. Age of six, gumagawa ka na ng kanta. Yes, I yes. think that's amazing. Oh. At the age of six, that's so young. So saan mo nga nakukuha yung ideas mo or yung emotions mo? At six ba, madami ka na hugot? No, actually, the first song that I wrote was a worship song. Natuto rin po ako mag-guitar there. So with the guitar, parang dun ako naging creative, I guess. Inspired. And then from there, uh, you joined a singing contest. Yes, um, at 17 years old, I joined this TV competition, Born to be a Star, and you were the judge. <laughs> I was part of that show, yes, on TV5. Yeah. So, did you win? No, no. Normally, kasi, I always tell yung mga contestants sa mga singing contests, don't feel bad. Pag hindi kayo nananalo because sometimes the ones that don't really win are the ones that are given opportunity to shine, no? Ano mabibigay mong payo dun sa mga aspiring uh, singers? Contesera ang tawag sa kanila, di ba? They usually join contests. A ako, for me, that's amazing. I've never joined a contest. I would not know. I would probably be so, siguro nervous and nervous ako and I'd be so terrified. So, ano yung advice mo para dun sa mga gustong sumali sa contest or para dun sa mga, kunyari, nakasali na but did not really make it, did not really win? Ano advice mo sa kanila? Honestly, I was like a contestera. Like before Born to Be a Star, I used to like join The Voice. So nagan nagodesyon sa ko, talagang pumila ako, and we took like four hours in the pila before ako makasalang dun sa like sa set. Pero hanggang set lang ako. Never ako nag on screen. Sa Born to Be a Star lang po ako nag on screen. So I guess just keep going. Pag dumating na talaga sa right timing, it will be, you know, you will shine your light. It's always right timing, yes. uh, right place, yes. and if you're destined, no? Yes. I think that's what it is. Yes. Buti hindi ka nawalan ng gana or di ba yung iba kasi they'll end kunyari their singing career there. Buti ikaw at a young age, hindi ka naging ganun and instead you pursued it pa. Because I, I really have like a supportive system as well. Like my sister, she she was joining competition. So parang yung environment ko it was all about you know let's do this. So parang nakahelp po yun. Parang ang close close mo sa sister yeah. mo no? That's nice. Ano naman ang go-to song mo sa mga contest? I used to be like very beerit beerit person. Mm. Kasi um, I grew up listening to pop yung like Celine Dion. Mm. Um, Beyonce. Yeah, time, yeah, oh, yeah. Diba? Oh. Listen by Beyonce. As in, I used Listen. to scream that out. Tabi nga nila, you are known for your hugot songs. And through you, they feel it. They go through the pain, no? Again, you were so young. Saan galing yun, hugot na mga songs na yun? Honestly, um, I didn't uh, start writing ng mga like painful or heartbreak songs when I was like young. I just got really serious with it around Kasi 18 years old. Na in love ka na. Yeah, probably. <laughs> ano yung very first song na sinulat mo na talagang hugot na hugot? Yeah. Um, yung very first song na love song na sobrang serious. It's called Fall and that was the first release I had with Viva. And you do first break up song called ever. Can you just do a sample, like a refrain mm -hmm. of Fall? Okay, the chorus part. I'm sorry, I'm letting you go and it's over. I can't keep holding on. I can't pretend anymore to love you at all When I knew I only wanted the fall Wow, I can't pretend to love you anymore! <laughs> oh, na oh, yeah, no, tumayo yung balibo ko. So nice. It's so hard to tell your partner na hindi pala ikaw. But at least you were honest enough. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It takes courage. It takes a lot of courage to actually be honest and break up. Dahil hugot queen ka, di ba? What is the happiest song naman that you have written? Happy ka naman? I think my latest um, release 
last year. It's called Sandig. I wrote this about a person that I finally found um, like comfort in. Like I can be myself around that person. Nang walang pag-aalin lang. Hi, kakakilig. Sa para po dun sa mga obviously in love or who want to be in love, who want to be inspired. Sandig, ayan. Who do you look up to? Not just your family, in general. Um, besides my sister, I think any female artist out there. Miss Pops. Nah. <laughs> like, I just find women so inspiring. Women who are not scared, seguro, exactly. and courageous. Yeah. They can present themselves as someone uh, you would really respect. Are you somebody who is a uh, a, a go-getter? Do you have goals? Tapos hindi ka ba tumitigil hanggat hindi mo nare-reach ang goal mo? Yeah. I think I could say I'm an overachiever. There's nothing wrong yeah. pag overachiever because I always say it's always better to keep trying exactly. than to never try yeah. at all. At this point in your career, ano pa ang feeling mo gusto mong gawin? I want to create more. I want to write more songs. Actually, the goal ko for this year, I want to release songs that are present, like real time happening in my life. Yung bago mong kanta, Distansya. Tell us about it. So, this one is a collaboration um, I did with Rob Daniel. Actually, super bilis lang po namin siya na sulat. Uh, nag schedule kami ng recording, like one day. And then, in like eight hours, na sulat na namin, like the whole thing. So, tell me about Distansya. Anong, ano naman ang story ng Distansya? Originally, dapat. Uh, gagawin po siyang theme song sa isang movie ng Viva na about LDR. Hindi namin nagawa ng perfect timing. So, ginawa na lang namin ng concept yung movie na yun, which is about LDR. So, this time show is about How is it like working with Arthur Neri? He's also one of the... Siyempre, madami rin siyang mga followers sa YouTube, yeah. di ba, and Spotify. He's very amazing. Like, as a songwriter, talagang he's someone na... Um, I learned so much from very same kami mag except when it comes to songwriting because he's very visual. Dun na build up yung parang relationship ko in, towards working with him na na develop yung pagka visual ko as a songwriter because usually I draw from my personal experiences. Pero siya, even without the personal experience, he's able to write. Nowadays, songwriters are not afraid to really express how they feel. Ngayon parang din describe lahat ng emotions. Yeah. Very personal din po yung attack. Like, meron yung detailing sa lyrics. Yes, so, yes. It, it comes a lot then with the generation right now na parang they're not afraid to say what they want to say. So, anong part sa song mo na distansya ang gusto mong mag trend sa TikTok because your songs are trending sa TikTok? So, anong part doon? Ah! Uh, Papunta na tayong dalawa sa ting hantungan iibigin ka o oh, kakaibang nadarama at makakapiling ka na kahit malayo o oh, kabado. Distance di head lang, lapit lapit lang sa yo. I'm sweet nama. In other words, no amount of distance can uh, take me away from you. Ayan. Oh, hindi. Happy na yan, ha? Happy, happy yan. So, ito na yung we get to try all this wonderful dishes dito sa tipon. Ito, ito try ko muna to. Just grab whatever you want. So, ito yung portion, siyempre, sa vlog where we get to choose what food we enjoy the most. Ayan, medyo mahirap. It is called Pop Pick or Pop Picks. So, ano yung popular na na-pick na mo amongst dun sa natikman natin, Janine? Um, this one. This is my ah, favorite. So, you really yeah. like the baby squid. squid. Actually, ako nahirapan kasi mm. parang lahat yeah, is good. very, very good. So, I'll, I'll choose two. Pop Picks for Nino. The adobo paella and empanada beef caldereta. So, isa 
pong ma enjoy nyo dito sa Tipon is of course their drinks headed by their mixologist si Nino. Hi Nino. Ano bang difference between a mixologist and a bartender Nino? Actually, yung the mere difference po nila is in a mixologist po is the one who created po yung recipe. And the bartender are the one who executes the recipe. Ano ang specialty drink ng Tipon? So we have plenty of uh, signature drinks. Uh, we cater different palates. It depends on your mood, depends on your preferences. Oh, kunyari, yeah. for me, I want something light. So we have what we call the, the Pink Lady. Sobrang sato, the gin based with the uh, pink lemonade, lychee. And of course, uh, some, uh, some, uh, some love. Ay, some love? Gusto ko niya. So, <laughs> pag umorder ako ng Pink Lady, baka ma-inlove ako sa katabi ko. Yeah, ganun ba yun? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ay, naku, pag hindi nangyari yan, ninyo, lagot ka sa akin. Ha? What do you recommend? Sa feeling mo, ano yung bestseller nila dito? Uh, we call it Artemisia. Artemisia is a mix of pineapple, cucumber, and uh, tequila. So what makes it different? Actually, those flavors are familiar po sa ating mga Pilipino. So what makes it different? So we put sesame oil on top of it. Pineapple, cucumber, very refreshing. Tequila, strong. And then may sesame oil. Yeah. Kailangan po matry natin yan. Punta po kayo dito sa Tipon. Actually, yung sesame oil po is on top. So okay. what's it for? Uh, yung roasted flavor niya. After you, after you like some few sips on the drink. Ano mo sa kanya. And then yung pinaka-aroma po ng drinks is maamoy mo sa kanya si sesame oil. Oh, pag nalasing daw po kayo, matlalasaan nyo na si sesame oil. Actually, I can smell it. Yeah. Ayan. Thank you, Nino. And of course, ayan, bar team sa tipon. Ayan. Bar tipon. <laughs> Thank you. Ayan. So back here again with Janine. And this time, ito yung exciting part. Ito yung ating vibe playlist. These are the top five songs of Janine that you will find on Spotify. Yung pinaka-recent po niya na very, very successful is Distansya. How would you rate these five songs according to you? Yung pinaka-favorite mo. I-rate mo and then why? Ayan. Number one, yung hulaan. Hulaan. O, lagyan natin. Number one. Bakit? I think it's the most personal song I've written so far. And yeah, ito kasi yung pinaka-latest kong solo release. So, number two sa iyo, according to you, favorite mo? Ah, uh, shucks. Um, tingin. Tingin. Bakit naman tingin? Every time I listen to this song, parang it's a collaboration I had with Cup of Joe. Oh, and, wow. Uh, okay. We did this in Baguio. Every time na pinapatugtog ko siya, parang it just, it's, it's so nostalgic. Parang, it's like a friendship. Song. What's it about? A friendship? Yeah. Bakit ang romantic-romantic ng songs nila? Okay, number three, according okay. to Janine. Ayan. Distansya. Distansya. Ayan. Ang latest trending song ni Janine. Ayan. Distansya. Because nga, ang feeling ko, may LD, LDR talaga si Janine. <laughs> So again, number four. Dina Muli. Dina Muli. So again, Dina Muli is. It's a cover. Dina Muli is originally by Itchy Worms, and dinawa siyang theme song sa Sidan Ayan Not a Love Story. Siya yung nag-open ng doors sa akin, mahapasok sa kung ano ano. Kasi kinover mo siya. Ayan. So very meaningful song. And of course, your pang five is pelikula. Ayan. Choice lang po ito ni Janine. What is the secret? I mean, everybody wants to be, uh, of course, nasa top sa Spotify. What do you think is the secret? I guess if you're just genuine with your art, you attract who you are. If you are genuine, then people would, you know, be connected to you and you would be more relatable to people. You're natural. They feel you. Yeah, yeah, they feel you. Uh, like and they know you're sincere. Yeah. Diba? So aside from trending sa Spotify at sa TikTok, trendsetter din si Janine sa kanyang fashion sense. Explain to us all about your fashion. Ayan. Um, honestly, not not much. Sobrang casual lang. Casual, yeah. simple. Comfortable, yes. Meron kang sariling style. So what is it na pag sinabing Janine, ano ba ang ina-expect ng tao? Kunyari, uh, sa mga fans mo, mm -hmm. how will they... Uh, 
copy your fashion sense. Ano sa palagay mo yung una nilang kinokopya? Siguro boots or ballet shoes. Boots or ballet yeah. shoes. You like flats. Yeah. Like me. Hindi ko na kaya ng heels. Ayan. So ano sa palagay mo yung mga sinosoot na mga fans mo na kinokopya nila? Is it your hair, your shoes? Ano? They usually give me crocheted hats tsaka mga crocheted um, tops. Meron akong isang fan, as in she's making it by hand. Tapos, she usually gives it to me every after gig. Tapos nagugulat ako every time may bago na naman akong hat. Wow. Like bucket hat. Okay. And then like... Nagko-crochet siya. Yeah, yeah. Ang mga followers mo, yun ang ginagaya sa'yo. Yeah. Yung, mga, yung mga hats mo na crochet. Tuturoan po ako ngayon ni Janine. Tayo pong lahat, tuturoan niya tayo. Kung paano mag-post sa Instagram. Bakit iba ba mga poses mo sa Instagram? Ano ba ang very typical Janine post sa Instagram? Ay, ganun. Oh my God. Kailangan dobi. May ganun. Parang sa'yo cute, sa akin hindi. Hindi ah. Oh. Cute yun. Parang, hmm, behalat. <laughs> And how did this start? No, I was kidding with that. But it's kidding. like... <laughs> <laughs> Alam niyo naman, medyo gullible ako. Ayan, sige. Ano yung mga Janine posts? Ayan naman, nag-aya ko tuloy. Ayan. Flex the collarbones. Ah, okay. <laughs> ayan, ayan po. So, pag nakita niyo na po yung silhouette ganon, si Janine po yun. Sana one day, meron tayong duet. No? Sabihan natin si uh, Boss B. Alika. Game. I got to know Janine more. Thank God. She's such a lovely, lovely girl. Very, very talented. I'm now a fan of your songs. Ko konti lang yung narinig ko, ha? Pasample pa lang yun, but I love your voice and I love your lyrics. Please invite all of our viewers now to follow you on your social media accounts. You guys can uh, listen to my music, Janine, on uh, all digital platforms. And you can follow me Um, sa Instagram, sa Facebook, Janine Music. So, you guys can follow. Sa lahat yun, Janine Music. Yes. Ayan. So, tandaan niyo po yan. Ayan. Thank you, Ms. Fox. Thank you. Thank you. So, please do follow Janine. Ayan po. And sana nga mangyari yung ating duet, no? And of course, maraming maraming salamat, Tipon, for having us here. Thank you for your yummy food. Tipon is again located here in Poblacion and of course, their bar, Catch 22. Thank you so much. Please do not forget to follow, subscribe, comment, share, lahat-lahat na po. Don't forget, if there's something poppin', we will share it here in What's Poppin'. Remember to always stay positive, guys. See you in my next vlog.